Here at Aqua Survey, we used to think that our flagship, the 70-foot lift boat, RV Robert E. Hayes, was an unusual boat to be docked aside the luxury yachts at Liberty Harbor Marina in Jersey City. That all changed a few weeks ago when an international team, led by the experimental archaeologist Dominic Gorlitz, showed up with 12 tons of reeds collected from Lake Titicaca. Today, they are putting the final touches on the Abora 3, a reed sailing vessel built using a design taken from 6,000-year-old Egyptian cave paintings. Perhaps even more unusual than the boat itself is what they intend to do with it. With this small, prehistoric vessel, they intend to cross the Atlantic Ocean to their final destination, Spain. If the Abora 3 team can prove that a transatlantic journey is possible in a boat of this design, they stand to rewrite history, proving that man was capable of transatlantic journey far before the time of Columbus or the Vikings. Today, Aqua Survey has been lending the Abora 3 team a hand as Dominic Gorlitz and his crew put the final touches on their vessel and prepare for their treacherous transatlantic journey. One of the first major jobs was to build and mount the mast for the Abora 3. We were able to assist with the RV Hayes's 5-ton crane, which is usually put to work deploying heavy drilling and vibracoring equipment. Since then, we've been providing the Abora 3 team with escort vessels as a test of maneuverability at sea. The appearance of the Abora 3 has been attracting a lot of attention. On a typical day, we get buzzed by everyone from the Coast Guard to commuter helicopters. The Abora 3 crew is preparing to depart on the adventure of a lifetime. The day is soon approaching when they will leave the safety of New York Harbor far behind them. Stay tuned for more updates on the Abora 3 team and Aqua Survey at aquasurvey.com as we prepare to say goodbye to our new friends.